Good afternoon. My name is Kent Ferris. I'm the Director of Social Action and Catholic Charities here in the Diocese of Davenport. I'm also the National Chair for the Justice, Peace, and Integrity of Creation Commission for the National Fraternity of the Secular Franciscan Order. This afternoon we're joined by Bishop Martin Amos of the Diocese of Davenport. Bishop Amos, could you tell us a little bit about the recent uh, letter that you sent to the members of the parishes across the diocese regarding the Health and Human Services uh, contraceptive mandate? The uh, administration in Washington has mandated that we include things in our health insurance that are contrary to the teaching of the church and therefore contrary to our own conscience. And it's been kind of the culmination over several years of uh, religious liberty kind of being attacked, uh, where there aren't the exclusions for consciously objecting to some of these things. And, and so it's kind of like a, a, a line in the, in the sand. We've got to start saying, what are we going to do? If we don't follow the mandate, or if it doesn't get changed, we will have to look very seriously at some of the services that we're able to provide to people, especially to poor, uh, and to our own employees. So it's a very serious uh, issue. Probably even more than just the, the issues within it is the religious liberty. We as secular Franciscans join with the Catholic bishops of the United States in, in condemning the statement that the administration has made regarding the contraceptive mandate. We are over 13,000 members from across the United States in 30 regions. As secular Franciscans, we are people of prayer and peace. We hope for the opportunity for dialogue. But as Bishop Amos has asked of us here in the diocese, we as secular Franciscans across the United States have a responsibility to pray for resolution to this and also the responsibility to contact our local elected officials our state and uh, senators and con congressional representatives from across the United States. Thank you for your time, Bishop Amos. You're most welcome, Kent.